Have you ever thought about how your life could end in a second? Maybe you have, and it only took a second to turn back to your old rhythm. I don't blame you. People think they are going to live forever. There is actually one word to describe how we live our lives, and that is 100% arrogantly. We are constantly at the edge of existence, and we have zero respect for that. Some people are living in another part of the world by testing the bitterness of that every single day in Africa, Palestine, Syria, Afghanistan. And we are just so busy to be swamped with our bullshit problems like we are the center of the universe. People are devastated when they see an update on their computers. They get insanely mad when the shopkeeper gave a candy in state of change. They are out of their minds if the cafe they sat in has no Wi-Fi connection. I always witness the vestige of food in restaurants while there are about 9 million people who die of starvation each year. Let's face it, we are insentient creatures. Our minds are diverted, possessed by the devil. Otherwise what did conduct us away from ourselves? Our ancestors had a strong opinion about what is good or evil. They were experiencing life by living in nature without mass media, the internet or ad exposure. If they would have seen you jerking off while looking at porn, they certainly knew it was evil. Now we live in a great time. The availability of information is preposterous. Every opportunity is wide open waiting for you to get them. Yet people lost the guts to go after anything at all because they are depressed and deprived of their life energy. A generation of weaklings has been raised with the wrong parenting strategies. Look, I know this is a cliche. But you got one shot in this life. If this is the way you want to live, then go ahead and keep doing what you do. But if something is missing, and that's alright, as long as you don't pretend like everything is great, the worst suffering comes when you hide the truth or act like it's not real. There is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. Whatever you're seeking, there will be lots of challenges. And whenever you are dealing with a tough challenge, you will need a sharp competitive mindset. You will have to see the light and keep seeing until you reach it. You may have some support from others, but the road is mostly lonely. But that is what it is, you still gotta keep pushing forward. Most people are too scared to go after any idea they have. It's the fear that keeps them in their comfort zone. Everybody dreams and wishes, but the majority forget them all right after their first cup of coffee in the morning. Bronnie Ware is an Australian nurse who spent several years working in palliative care, caring for patients in the last 12 weeks of their lives. She has recorded the most common regrets of dying in the book The Top 5 Regrets of Dying. And here they are. I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. I wish I hadn't worked so much. I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. I wish that I had let myself be happier. As you see very often, the stories we leave behind are not the ones that we intended. Most people had not honored even half of their dreams and they had to die knowing that it was due to the choices they had made or not made. Do you really want to look back on your life and see how wonderful it could have been if you had not been afraid to live it? Because if not, you gotta take the required lessons and shape your life according to them. If you do not learn from other people's mistakes, you will be destined to live the same story. Don't let the fear consume you and leave you with regrets in the end. Let me ask you, what is stopping you from moving forward in the way you want to go? Regardless of your circumstances, you can just pick one thing and do it with force, faith and determination. If you have any interest in achieving anything, this is your recipe. There will be mountains of obstacles that will try to stop you. And here is what will protect you from everything in the storm. A strong why. If you have a strong why, you do whatever it takes until you get it. I have no intention to fool your motivation tank with these videos, because there are millions of losers watching motivational videos just to feel better about themselves. Don't be one of them. The ones who will achieve their goals are not searching for motivation. They decide, set a plan of action, and develop a clear vision. If you only seek motivation, you probably procrastinate taking action and looking for some emotional rush instead. But this only makes you live in the same vicious cycle. The change only happens if you develop on the cognitive level. That means you must know why you do what you do clearly. All of your thoughts, emotions and actions should be aligned with the results you want to generate. What stands between us and achieving our most ambitious dreams has far less to do with possessing some magical skill or talent, and far more to do with how we approach problems and make decisions to solve them. What will change you is not a miracle. It is a simple decisive action that you can implement right now. Your dream is a journey of thousand miles and it starts with just one step. 
let's say you will write 1000 pages of a novel, it might seem frightening at first, rather than focusing on how scary it looks, you can break your ambitious goals into their simplest form and see what you can do. How about writing 3 pages for today and making it your habit? In about 1 year, you will complete your novel. Your dream has become a goal now because you developed an idea of how you can achieve it. The only difference between a dreamer and achiever is that the second one decided to stop being a spectator in decision making and start being a participant. And obstacles are not bad because you would not grow without overcoming them. They are there because life just needs to know how serious you are by throwing shit at you. 99% of people are not serious and they give up. They are like, well I don't know how to do it. I will do a bad job. I don't really like doing it. If I can't do it, then I will get blah blah. I have no time to do blah blah. These kinds of bullshit rationalizations can take them easily and they are done. You don't have to surrender to the temptations of your mind. You can just let it keep shattering and still take action. Who cares? Write the really first bad draft. Or let the people humiliate you. Does it matter? You will look at yourself years later and laugh at those times. A mistake. A failure or a catastrophe has the potential to move you forward because at least you have something. Then you can work on it and become better by learning your mistakes. Otherwise what do you have really? Nothing. You are going to stay in status and find yourself in the same exact spot after 10 years. 99% of people wander around the same fucking nonsense because they never pull the trigger. All they do is think about what happens if I do. Oh my idea is like, next time I will do. Stop. Cut it out, it's not working, can't you see? Maybe you'll realize it in your 40s. Well, I never knew what to do and now I'm 40. Yeah, because you have never tried. And if you're a young one listening to this, yes, you have a chance. But you don't have all the time in the world. Time is passing faster than you think. Ask all people in their early 20s and they will all talk hopefully about their wishes and desires. The truth is, at least 95% of them can't reach any of them. They all believe they had all the time in the world. They always listened to what others said and went with the flow. They pushed their dreams to someday and that day has never come. And one day you wake up and you're 40. You wonder where the old sweet youthful energy of yours has gone. People are a lot more unhappy about the things they haven't done when they look at their past. Would you like to hear the solution that will save you from this misery? Listen up, because that is the only thing you must focus on right now. The solution is to be a fool. The willingness to be a fool is the prerequisite to path of mastery. You must be willing to do a terrible job. Be willing to take small steps at a time. Be willing to do a bad first draft of anything. Be willing to be and to look like a fool. Be willing to fail again and again. Because no matter how your attempts look like, at least you'll be doing something about it. And you'll be getting smarter along the way. This is the way and you know it anymore. And now, go and try out something new and do redemptive mistakes. What is the consequence? You can only become wiser if you pay attention to them and learn from them. This is the only way to see how stupid you are. The world is full of stupid people who cannot see their stupidity. You must be the one who can see it, and that is only possible when you move forward. So don't be scared to chase your rainbow. As you take stumbling steps toward it, you become illuminated, enlightened and informed because of the nature of experience. People can decide to go for an ideal, even if it's defined poorly, but they find themselves afraid and paralyzed. They are scared of what they might possibly encounter. Fear stops and freezes those people because negative emotions are more powerful than positive emotions. At the end of the day, being happy is good, but it's never as important as suffering and death. So that is why we are more receptive to negative emotions. You run faster away from what you fear than towards what you love because the fear of failure is greater than the joy of success. Our brain believes indecision has no cost at all by default, which is absolutely wrong. Not making a decision also has a cost and sometimes it is far worse than making a decision, even if the decision is risky. You will suffer anyway and we are already dead. That is why playing it always safe is the greatest danger. If a few milligrams of liquid cause you to give up on your dreams, then you deserve to live in misery. That's why they say fortune favors the brave. When you do it anyway, all sorts of opportunities open up to you. Even if you don't succeed all the time, you are moving forward and that's a lot better than rotting in the same place. Then we can call it living rather than just being alive. So don't delay and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Apply this formula and live a life of no regrets. Because you wanna be more.